New research from Israel could reshape medicine and scientific research around pregnancies, miscarriages, genetic diseases, and even the possibility of growing life-saving transplant tissues and organs as we know it. A team of scientists at the Wiseman Institute of Science recently created an accurate model of a human embryo without the need for sperm, eggs, or a womb. The team was able to create the model by taking stem cells from the skin of adult humans. They then reverted those cells along with others produced in a laboratory setting into an earlier developmental state. They then manipulated the cells further into the embryo model. We took human stem cells that we were derived years ago from donated early embryos or what's called IPS cells, cells that are taken from uh, the skin and turned back into a stem cell state. This, these are very established technologies. And what we do this time is we put them in a special media that takes them to really, really early stages, what we call naive. So we have to use these human naive stem cells. And then we put each aggregate of 120 cells. And again, in about 1% of, the, of the, the, the aggregates, we can see that they start, cells start differentiating correctly, migrating and sorting themselves into the correct structure. And the farthest we could get is, is day 14 in human embryo development. The model mirrors a real embryo at its 14-day mark. That's a critical period for an embryo as that's when it begins developing internal structures, but before it lays down the foundations necessary to grow organs. The team's next step is to advance the model to the 21-day stage and attain a success rate of 50%. Researchers say this study is a step forward in understanding embryonic development. By making these models that are very similar, we can start with stem cells that are engineered, labeled, knock out a gene and so forth, so we can really know which hormones and which genes are important for which organ. And from that knowledge, we can try and go back and improve our differentiation protocol. And maybe actually in these embryo models, which is in the end some kind of a differentiation protocols, uh, there might be some cells that are useful actually that you can take and transplant or take them and expand them and transplant them or take them and test drugs on them and so forth. So they could be also themselves as a source of cells. While the research is significant, it also raises ethical questions regarding the potential manipulation of human embryo development. Hannah, however, says that isn't a concern in this case. I don't think we, we can ever really make uh, a real identical embryo just because in the end, the uterus uh, environment is, is really the most normal environment and it's, uh, it, it's controllable. I want to emphasize that if you're talking about trying to make a whole baby pregnancy outside the uterus, that is just impossible because the human embryo is very big. Pregnancy is nine months. I mean, even in mouse where pregnancy is very short and the embryo are very small, we can only do so far 10 and a half days. So, um, so that is not, it's not that it's not our goal. It's actually also impossible and, and there are no um, concerns about that at all.